Welcome to Electrified. It's your host, Dylan Loomis. Late last night, we got this tweet from Elon talking about a potential Tesla AI day in 2021. So I figured it would be appropriate to take a look at what we can potentially expect at this event. And I would like to strongly emphasize the maybe that starts Elon's tweet. But with that, I think the first thing that comes to mind, at least for me, would be the Tesla Dojo supercomputer. For a quick refresher, Tesla Dojo is a supercomputer that I believe was first mentioned at Autonomy Day in April 2019. The word Dojo is a school of training, also known as a facility where martial arts is taught. The Dojo Tesla is referring to also deals with training, but training computers instead of humans. The goal of Dojo is actually to teach like humans, but without humans. It's to become a supercomputer specially designed to train neural networks. There was a time when programmers were trying to make a program that behaved like humans, as they still do today. At the same time, neurologists found that the brain consists of cells called neurons connected by threads called axons and dendrites. These connect to other neurons. Using those threads, the neurons send signals in a chemical or electrical way to other cells. These brain tissues became known as biological neural nets. Thus, the artificial neural net, or NN for short, was born, becoming the most versatile of the AI programs. Traditional programming uses if-then statements and rules where the programmer decides what the output will be to a given input. Contrast this with a neural network that is not programmed, but rather it is trained by experience. A neural network program without the training isn't good for much because it extracts right and wrong examples from the millions of samples it's fed during training. Each characteristic or input is assigned a weight to signal their importance. Now, most of us are at least aware to some degree that our phones have chips in them that help them to work. These are typically called CPUs or central processing units, and they really are pretty incredible when you think about all of the things that you can do on this little device by touching a screen. With that said though, CPUs aren't typically the best way to do specialized tasks, so that's where something like an ASIC comes into play. An ASIC is just a small chip that can do one thing incredibly well and very fast. These became known as application-specific integrated circuits, hence the ASIC. They can perform their tasks better and faster than a CPU and can free up a CPU to do all of the other tasks that are not delegated to an ASIC. When you have hardware designed for a special task, the instructions or the software, whatever's running on the hardware can process things much faster. And this is exactly why Tesla created their own full self-driving chip, Hardware 3.0. This chip is specially designed to run Tesla's neural network. Tesla is actually working on Hardware 4.0, which is another reminder they're not going to stop innovating. Hardware 4.0 is supposed to be in partnership with TSMC and mass production is scheduled for quarter four of this year. TSMC stands for Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company Limited. But the main takeaways for this new chip are going to be twofold. One is lower power consumption and two is faster processing power. Of course, it'll be for full self-driving and other driver assist systems. But an overlooked one is the in-car infotainment that Tesla does have big plans to expand. So as long as everything is going according to plan with this partnership between Tesla and TSMC, we could expect to see these new chips, hardware 4.0, in Tesla vehicles in 2022. Tesla does have a data center at Giga Nevada, which features a server farm that was reportedly to be powered by Tesla power packs. At this data center, the neural network is trained on the large supercomputer. Elon told us last year that the Dojo supercomputer was 0.01% ready and should be operational in a year. This math didn't make much sense, but later we got some more clarity that the 0.01% comment was about the working prototype that's used to validate the design of Dojo. The Dojo prototype was working on FPGA chips or field programmable gate array chips. Now look, I am not a chip expert by any stretch of the imagination, but from my research, FPGAs can be made to act like the algorithm is hard coded on the chip. So for all of you chip folks out there, please chime in and correct me below if you have any extra input. But from what I gather, they're used when you need the added speed of an ASIC, but an 
an actual ASIC would be cost prohibitive or would take too long to make. So an FPGA wouldn't be as fast as a true ASIC, but it's still much faster than running normal software. Using FPGAs, you can make a proof of concept of the chip and the computer you're designing and then debug the code you plan to hardware into it. But essentially, it's believed that the FPGA prototype computer is just a fraction of the intended size of Dojo. The main challenges with Dojo will be the heat produced and the amount of data that have to be moved from storage systems to the computer's internal memory and the speed of execution of the neural net training software. We will almost certainly learn a lot more about Dojo as it's going to expedite the training of the neural net by orders of magnitude. All Teslas on the road with the proper software register traffic situations that are sent to the data center to train the neural net. Then once the neural net has learned how to drive given these billions of scenarios, it's then downloaded back to the cars via the OTA updates. And if you recall, Tesla will open Dojo for training as a web service once it works out the bugs. Elon added, Dojo uses our own chips and a computer architecture optimized for neural net training, not a GPU cluster. I could be wrong, but I think it will be the best in the world. But we need to remember that Tesla uses AI for a lot more than just full self-driving and driver assist systems. Their entire manufacturing has been striving to automate more and more using AI and robotics. Now, if you recall, Elon had some comments that there are still things that humans do a lot better than robots. So there is some limitations as of today, but I'm sure at AI Day, we would learn a lot more about what they're doing on the manufacturing side with things like gigacasting and all of the new automation they have in place. One of those issues that Elon has mentioned was the robotic vision or the software that controls what the assembly line robots can see and then do based on computer vision. The assembly line robots couldn't deal with unexpected orientations of things like nuts or bolts or complicated maneuvering between the car frame. Every issue would cause the assembly line to stop and in the end it was far easier to substitute humans for robots in many assembly situations. And I'll tell you this, I will not be surprised if at Tesla AI Day, Elon doesn't spend some time warning us about the dangers of AI in general. I could be wrong, he might just focus on Tesla specific things, but he has been very open about AI potentially causing millions of jobs to be lost and even going as far as to say things like AI is going to be the root cause of a World War III scenario. Personally, this feels a lot farther off. Obviously, I'm no AI expert, but let's just hope that Elon is wrong on this one. But hopefully, we can learn a bit more about how Tesla plans to use their insane data advantage to offer lower cost insurance to users. You can bet there is a level of AI at almost every level of Tesla, as it's no mistake that Elon helped to found OpenAI, the organization with the mission to make sure artificial intelligence benefits all of humanity. But as always, I am super curious to hear what you guys think about Tesla AI Day. Tell me what I missed, what you would be most excited to learn about when it comes to Tesla and artificial intelligence. I appreciate you guys watching until the end. It really does mean a lot. Please like the video if you did and consider subscribing for more Tesla content. My Bitcoin channel is up and running. I will link it below if you're into that type of thing. But with that, I look forward to seeing you in the next video and I hope that you have a great day.